Steve from Custom Table Tennis, and just following on from the uh, the last video I did with our five defensive blades, one of our customers asked, he was thinking of getting the Sauron Troger Zeus, and asked if I could point out the differences and if he could have a closer look. So um, that's what we thought we'd do as a nice little follow on, and why you'd pick one over the other. Let's just do a little unboxing. Um, I'll just bring this in, I did it on the last video as well, but if you didn't see it, you can pause on that the Nitaku shake defense there has been around for the best part of 38 to 40 years the one that I'm going to show you is the generation 2 I mean if you can pick one of those up in good condition um, happy days but they usually cut down as well or damage around the edges so let's just have an unboxing there's nothing too fancy on the uh, Nitaku box nothing on the edges so, get the packaging out of the way. So, if you just have a little look at the blade, then, so you've got your classic Hinoki carbon construction for defensive play. As I say, it's been around a long time. There's nothing on the handle that's going to get in the way. You've just got that on the end there. So, let's do some measurements on the first one. So, it's a big old blade, is this? So you're looking at approximately, I'd say that's 160 wide by 166 long. So you can see why, I mean, it's played in its original form. Little bit about this one, there's a couple of players in the Leeds area, top, top players with pimples, and they've both got this blade, and they're both doing incredibly well with it. So. I'll bob it on the scales as well. I know it's going to be quite light. I've used them before myself in the past. So looking at 78.9 and then that's why um, this is on our list of five. It's a very, very popular blade. It's, it's, it's just really well made. Made in Japan, not made anywhere else. It's, they're all made in Japan and they're all hand finished. So that's that one. We'll have a look at the other one then. Um, the, the retail price on this one in the UK is $99.99. But in my opinion, I think they're worth every penny. Uh, let's have an unboxing of the Sauron and Troger then. So we've got a little bit of marketing on the box and then a little bit more information at the back there. So let's get this one out of the box. This one comes in a uh, a protect, protective sheet so when it's been manufactured it's been nicely wrapped so it's going to get to you in absolutely pristine condition I mean that's going to be fine as well it's in a nice box um, what I like about this one the new generation because I'm actually going to show you another one later the new generation has got FH for forehand side because sometimes uh, there is a little bit of a discrepancy of the other side being a little bit slower um, but having said that, it's not going to make that much difference. That is absolutely flush. I said I don't want to take this off because this has got to go out. Um, there we go. Let's have a look at the dimensions of this one. So this one's about one five eight, so not quite as wide. By about 160 so not quite as big but interestingly when we do the weights or well, we've done the weight on that one um, this is going to be a little bit heavy and I'll show you why in a moment so 90 I would say we'll probably lose two grams with the with the cellophane so let's have a look at the thickness then and why why would this one be a little bit heavier so if we're going with the vernier gauge on this one We've just got about 5.27 on that one. And on the Sauron Troger Zeus, we've got 5.48. So marginally quicker, um, thicker. There's not a lot in it, really. And when you put them end to end, you can see that they're very, very similar. Now, having played with them both and having tested, I've 
tested this one several times with various different rubbers on and as I say we've got a couple of local players who use this one um, what I tested it on just recently um, and this is one of the older older variants actually because if, as you can see this one uh, doesn't have the FH on doesn't have the forehand on this one so it's an earlier generation they must have decided that they were going to put that on the forehand because people were asking what goes where and then of course you've got the Zeus on the other side so I tested this let's have a look at the weight of the whole bat so got the Hass on the forehand a nice good flat hitting pimple with a little bit of tuned effect on there I've only got this one on a 1.5 and then on the other side I've got Monkey which we've done separate reviews on this I think this is a brilliant rubber um, lots of reviews and people playing with this online including Sebastian Sauer from Sauer and Troger so the overall weight of this bat 138.6 so what I'm going to do with this I've finished testing it um, if you play a more aggressive style up to the table or you're a traditional defender um, it will absolutely be fine but if you actually want to slow the game down and you want something a little bit lighter uh, you might be as well choosing something else but I, I just think it's a fantastic blade um, for my own personal use because I want to the, the, the choice of dropping the ball twice on the table it's oh we've got a knock on the door so we'll be right back so carrying on with this this one then um, fit, fit and finish is perfect absolutely no problem I like the shoulders up here doesn't get in the way I can twiddle it round really really nice blade I'm putting this one on offer because I've tried it and I shall move on and try something else I might actually go back to the shake we've got more more uh, Sauron and Troger blades to test but if I just may point you out to ceiling blades especially on these I mean you can see the grain on this Hinoki wood you wouldn't think you could destroy it but if you have a look at this one um, I've done a separate video if you've not seen it have a look at to seal or not to seal whether you should seal your blades and I reckon you should that side just had reverse on and this side had a, a glue sheet on but have a look at the video I always seal the blades that one there that I've just shown you that's been sealed so I, I just think it's worth doing I mean no, no, I don't have to go out and buy that but that's why I use that because it's convenient if you've got you want water-based acrylic um, matte finish you don't want high gloss because then you've got problems um, in fact uh, that, uh, that has been sealed and you can hardly tell that has been sealed just tell by the variation of the color that's going to have no problem whatsoever it's been sealed you're not going to destroy that so a little quick review we're going to do i know i said before christmas i was going to go through various other other ones and i'm going to get back on them um hopefully next week so steve from custom table tennis hope this has been of information good information for you um let's just have a look at the hellfire in purple that's what I'm using at the moment and then we've got the uh, the monkey in blue I, I think it just makes the game a little bit more interesting but I'll let you decide Steve from custom table tennis hit the like and subscribe and get your stuff from custom table tennis .co .uk. bye for now mm -hmm.